Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I want to take a minute and show you the new rifle I got. It's a Ruger American Ranch Rifle chambered in 350 Legend. Now I learned about 350 Legend at SHOT Show this last year. The CMMG booth was the first one to announce it and make a rifle for the 350 Legend. Here it is, Winchester developed it. It's catching steam. These are the target loads and here are the hunting loads. And many other manufacturers are jumping on board the 350 Legend. I consider it a do everything route. It has some advantages to it. It has excellent ballistics. It's very affordable between nine and ten dollars for a box of 20 and it's low recoil. So I had a chance to shoot it a couple weeks ago and I really fell in love with it and that's why I picked up this Ruger American Ranch Rifle in 350 Legend. Now, another thing is that it's very versatile. It can be used in an AR-15, it can be used in a bolt gun like this. And that's basically what this is, is a show and tell because I want to share with you not just the rifle and the round, but why I went with the 350 Legend and the optic and some of the other things. So we're going to do that here. But I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with it and this whole package can be purchased very affordably and that was part of my mindset when I started this project so let's get into it let's take a closer look at this Ruger American ranch rifle we'll start out with the price the MSRP on this is $549 I'm seeing it on gun broker for under $450 which I think is a great start to an affordable project now it does come in two different sizes compact and standard this is the compact the only difference is a little over an, an inch on the overall length of the stock the reason I went with the compact is because my Remington 700 that has spacers I found it more comfortable for me to remove a spacer on that rifle so I figured well if I had to remove a spacer maybe the little bit of a shorter stock would fit my shooting style I don't think it's any big deal either way now it's only available in this flat dark earth polymer stock and I, I think that's cool uh, absolutely no complaints there I also went with the bolt action rifle it's what I wanted and Ruger makes some pretty pretty nice rifles and this one's no different now the magazine release is right there and then it comes with one five round magazine factory installed Picatinny rail all right and then it does have a marksman trigger now it is adjustable between five and three pounds. I measure this four and a half pounds pretty consistently right out of the box. And you can see that the bolt has been charged by that piece right there. You pull the trigger and that goes away. But the trigger itself has a trigger bar safety in there. And then just a you know little take up there, four and a half pounds, and it breaks. Thumb safety right here. Okay, fire. Oh, it has to be charged. And then safe all right nice and convenient there and there's what you're looking at 16.4 inch barrel that is threaded all right and then of course it has sling mounts available heavy recoil pad and it, it, a pretty nice overall package it's light right around six pounds and I'm gonna put an optic on there well you have to put an optic on there and a bipod the Winchester 350 Legend has some advantages worth talking about. Let's start with the price. It's very affordable. On average, between $9 and $12 for a box of 20, which I think is a great deal considering that the round itself is a 3030 Winchester equivalent that is AR-15 compatible. Here is the Super X round. All right, it's a 180 grain bullet excellent ballistics to it does have the tip in there which will expand as we expect and then here is the target load 145 grade now this is what i was using when i was at the range i'm going to go ahead and dub it in notice the light recoil i was shooting at a target that was 200 yards away and i was hitting it pretty consistently it, it, it felt great low recoil excellent ballistics i look at the back of this box and out of the muzzle it's firing at 2250 feet per second after 200 yards, you're looking at just under 1,500 feet per second. So it, it's, a, it's a fast round. You know, there are faster out there, but it's a, it's a heavy bullet. Now, the hunting loads are just a little bit slower because it's a heavier bullet. 
and that's to be expected but the versatility that it offers for the price and being that it is a straight walled cartridge allows hunters more choices especially if there are limitations as to what loads you can use now you can use 450 bushmaster or you could use a 350 legend and that would be a great choice now i would say the average range between 50 to maybe 250 maybe 300 yards would be your standard distance in which you would use the 350 legend you could probably stretch it out further than that i don't know but I am going to get this to the range and check it out for myself. And of course, I'll bring you guys along to check it out. The optic that I chose for this project is a Vortex Diamondback. 3 to 9 magnification, 40 millimeter glass. Very impressed with Vortex. I always have been. It, it, the, the glass is extremely clear. It does have a lifetime warranty. It's waterproof, fog proof. You know, it's got 3.5 inch eye relief, which should suit this Ruger American Ranch rifle fine. You know, it has the eye focus right here it's affordable too the msrp on this is 270 you know probably a little under 200 bucks will get you this from most places but i got it from ironclad defense or ironcladmags.com the owner of that site zach actually answers the phone when you call the number on the website so he can lead you in the right direction we spoke about it and chose this optic and i'm very happy with it now if you're wondering how smart I am, this may give you a little bit of a clue. I needed to get scope rings. I went with the Vortex scope rings, but I didn't go with rings plural. I thought I did. I was thinking, well, I'm getting a great deal on this, but I really didn't because it only came with one. So I didn't even read the description, but the one I chose has the thumb adjuster, or finger adjuster. I'm sure there's a name for it, but I, I went with this so that you could adjust this if needed on the field okay instead of needing a wrench the wrench actually tightens down better and is more secure this you have to constantly you know every time you go out you have to make sure it's nice and tight but i'm willing to pay that price knowing that i could you know adjust the optic for different shooters or i realize i want to adjust it for myself or whatever the case it gives you a little more versatility with this type of tightener the last thing that i got and i also got it from ironcladmags.com is a harris bipod and i was just between a harris and an atlas i went with the harris is a little bit less expensive because i mentioned all along i wanted to keep this whole project affordable and i have so there it is guys ruger american ranch rifle chambered in 350 legend really looking forward to this project and i think you will like everything this has to offer if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.